Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Bork Note Game video. Today's video is dedicated to the maintenance, so let's jump right into it. We're here on the Twitters, and then we're gonna go to the notice. And the thing is with this one is it's a little controversial, as you all know, but let's cover a few things. The new banners, Magic Box and Rebirth is going to be appearing, and Magic Box is most likely gonna be our girl, Anise, and then Rebirth, which is most likely Yuffie, because she is known for pretty much being immortal and being able to rebirth. All right, just a couple notes about her. And note the thing in red, Gnosis Honor Contribution Summons. We're gonna talk about that, but let's talk about other things first. There's gonna be the limited event Dream Song Battle and the New Year Lucky Bag. If you didn't know, if you go into the New Year's Market, Dream Song Battle is gonna be this idol feature right here. And we already talked about the New Year Lucky Bag. Look, I know I'm gambling when I'm doing gotcha, but I don't need to know that I'm going to gamble $100. That's the only reason why this doesn't sit well in my mouth. If, you know, they've presented so many better packs in Illusion Connect. Honestly, if they... <laughs> no, just no, right? Anyways, limited Miracle Trial New Year Challenge. Okay, that is pretty much what we saw earlier. It's going to be this tweet in particular. We're talking about the new Miracle Mode. And in this new Miracle Mode, that what why it makes it so special is that there's no faction. So you don't have to be like, oh, I'm only going to use Miscipula, for example, or something. And note this is going to give us a free multi for Anis. So that is pretty amazing. All right, let's go back here. So limited event Tobin training, maybe that's something new. And I'm looking forward to see what that is. So I'm kind of excited. That's never been talked about or teased in KR. Gnosis summon. Honor Summon Contribution Summon. Obviously this doesn't, you know, align with what we saw earlier where it was going to be Anna in the Gnosis and, you know, other things pretty much appearing in, you know, Honor was supposed to be Gagaku and I believe Contribution was just something else. I think it was Fran Tiva. Now it's Hersey and I know that Hersey is getting her awakening, you know, it, it got teased out earlier today as well. So that's pretty cool. But my only thing is that if they were going to do this, they could have provided a little bit more of a heads up because the community is pretty torn on why Anna isn't appearing in particular, I think, or why we're not following the KR Gnosis Honor contribution. And personally, I am disgruntled, but at the same time, I understand that we are not KR. There was an expectation set that was not technically, you know, clearly stated my biggest hope with this is that they do address the fact that you know we are different like that's all i want them to do formally state in a notice that we are different from kr because that way we can say whatever happens in global happens in global right this if like for example if this gnosis and honor contribution summon is currently occurring in kr as in this is what's happening then that makes more sense. You know what I mean? We're flo we're flowing with the current Gnosis and Honor contribution with all the other servers. But right now, we don't have any explanation as to why we are getting Karaya, Baroness, and Hersey. I understand Hersey is, you know, getting an awakening, but it's just one of those things where we want more of an explanation, I think. It's not really like, oh, we wanted Anna. Because honestly, Anna's not really going to make a huge difference in story. It's a matter of just understanding their perspective and why this occurred. That's like my personal opinion. And I'm not too like riled up because if it was Kasume who's going to be on the Gnosis, uh, summon then yeah i would have been disgruntled but it's not so for now you know we're gonna keep on going with things and go with the flow you know what i mean i'm not gonna let this upset me because it's one of those things where it's like hey you know just give me an answer give me a reason as to why you did it and then let's move on because at the same time i understand we're global so we do things different right so i have 400 pine cones here all saved up i should definitely use all of these and once i use all of these i'll be a happy camper it really sucks that i didn't you know use them later because as you all know i'm moving and right now i'm using a different app to record my stuff this isn't actually blue stack so i'm technically recording off of my phone and doing everything off of my phone so we'll see how this pretty much works out right all right let's go ahead and do some arena and do some dream arena as we always do rage heat which is the spirit healing recover and we're just gonna go ahead and fast challenge for the most part i only have five challenge tickets because well i haven't done any other runs today consistent way is going in exploration and you know getting more challenge tickets for the most part so for the folks who are like hey you know you released that thing about like getting the king rank i don't have enough you know tickets 
well, you already know the answer. It's just like spam stamina. You, I got like 280 stamina. So let's go ahead and level someone up. Who are we gonna level up today? We're gonna go work on Saya because Saya does seem like she's going to be pretty much a pretty good character forever. Like there's no reason not to use her. Even if Hersey's coming out, you know, all these miracle events where I have to use Saya, I have to use a certain character. Well, you know what? I don't I don't mind using her. Plus she's good for like free to play guides when someone's struggling. Like, hey, how do I how do I get through this? Well, Saya is a pretty good answer outside of everyone else. It is going to be nice knowing that Hersey is going to be technically more of a free to play character, if you know what I mean. Because she is going to be or he well she in global, right? is going to be more available to free to play players so she's going to be a nice alternative within the actual summons if you don't know what i'm talking about why i keep switching between he slash she global defined hersey as a female all right just just so y'all know just so y'all know all right let's go ahead and do some exploration because you know why not why why not and go to road to yomi because this is the one that i usually do and yeah so let me know how you guys like feel about the change in the Gnosis. I know a lot of people are fairly upset and you know what, you're rightly so. I'm not going to argue the fact. I just want to take it more in a less of like, hey, you know, a witch hunt sort of deal and more of like, hey, let's talk about this because that's usually how I approach like these changes in games. I don't like going on a rampage and demanding for certain things. Most of the time, I'm going to want to sit down and be like, hey, you know, what's going on? What's up with the change? Can you provide me an explanation? That way, you know, we can all be on the same page because technically these quote unquote misdirections or what have you, they're going to keep occurring. And it's better to ask for an explanation rather than to just kind of be like, bah, what's going on, you know? And someone was asking about like, did Lily ever get back to me on like the community questions and stuff? And for the most part, she sent it up to their dev department. So, you know, that's where it went. Hopefully they took it into consideration, but for the most part, it gives me more confidence knowing that she sent it versus me just sending something and I get no reply whatsoever, right? And just note that I am in communication with like the Illusion Connect, at least PR team. So, you know, there is some things that I can do. Uh, I'll ask the question what's going on with the summons and stuff because that's the least that I can do. I, I'm not sure if I'll get a formal response or anything because, you know, as you all know, I am not an Illusion Connect employee. I am just some guy on YouTube making videos because that's what I, I enjoy to do, right? But hopefully we get an answer. Hopefully we get some reasonings. And I'm excited to still see what's going to be happening in the future. Because for the most part, everything just kind of gets more free to play friendly. Karaya is a really good tank. Bariness is eh. But as we all know, Hersey is a real, like she can be a real monster. So she's a great addition to the contribution summon. But I know it's not good enough to, you know, be like, hey, that doesn't, we want an explanation, right? Don't just sweep it under the table and pretend nothing happened because no one wants to hear that. No one wants to talk about that. We want a reason. We want to talk about it, right? So let's go ahead and complete our daily trials and bounty missions for the day and end things off. But yeah, if you guys have anything like on your mind, just let me know. I'll post it up in an email, you know, any comment that gets the most amount of likes and I'll probably send it up. And of course, you know, feel free to drop anything that you want. Just say hi, hello, happy holidays. We're almost at the new year. And hopefully I get my internet fixed soon so I don't have to have like this weird setup that you all are seeing. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about these changes to the summons. And I will see you in the next one.